So we have got the brand new Nintendo Switch, and I want you to know, this is the first time that I've opened it. I have been staring at the box for a while, but I waited so that we could do this thing together. So let's go ahead and dig in. Feels kind of, kind of like a kid on Christmas morning. And I'm not just saying that, I mean it. So let's see, first off they want us to plug it in, but we'll get to that. Here it is. Ta-da! The Nintendo Switch. It is heavier than I thought it would be, actually. That's probably a good thing, right? Yeah, couple pounds, looks nice. It is a 6.2 inch screen. The screen itself is 720p, and then when you plug it into the dock and put it on your TV, it goes out to 1080p. Let's see. The little Joy Cons. Blue. It's actually available. I know that you get it in gray, and then they have the blue and the red as color options. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Slide right in. You couldn't hear it, but it clicked. Maybe you could hear it. I don't know. That's technically, I mean, it. it's red, but. Does, that seems like orange to me. Does that feel orange? I'm not really sure. All right, well, let's slide that bad boy in and click. There you go. Now, got some stuff underneath. Nope, got nothing. Level one, done. Level two, let's get down in here and see what we got. So I've got an HDMI cable, pretty standard. Uh, here is your power, woo, that is a big power cord, right? I mean, it's not Xbox One big, but it's still pretty big. Um, and let's see, okay, that is a USB-C connector. So it's not just like the micro USB that you're used to. Plugs into the bottom right there. Um, so, okay, actually, you know, I haven't really hold it this way. So you've got a Z and a ZL and a ZR button down here. And then you've actually got the standard kind of shoulder button. So you've got two buttons there, face buttons on each side, then you've got the sticks, which if you listen, which you can't hear it, but they do click in right there. Um, buttons, and then you've got a home, is that a home button? Yeah. And then a plus button, a minus button, and I don't know what that button's going to do, but another button there. So, okay, so they say the first thing we wanna do is plug it in. So that's what I'm gonna do. How good am I at unwrapping cable? Maybe not that good. Okay. So, plugged in. Let's see, when attached to the Nintendo Switch console, the Joy-Con batteries will also charge. So there are batteries in these guys too, and this is the way that you can have it charge. So, what do we got here? Here is the... It's pretty excited that I just plugged it in. Okay, so we'll do the setup in just a couple minutes. Um, so this is the Joy-Con holder for the actual Joy-Con. So when you want to take them out, do they just slide out? Okay, there's a button underneath that if you hit that button, ta-da, slides out. Now there's no battery or anything in this. It's actually just a physical holder for the actual Joy-Cons. So they go on like that. And there's a, a little light that shows up that says, hey, this thing is actually plugged in. Um, I'll go ahead and do that for both of them. Because I think we're gonna screw around with this thing on the dock once we get it out. So there you have it. There's your controller. Um, this, I have no idea what this is. We'll figure that out later. Um, okay, now I think this is the dock. Yeah, it sure is. Making a mess. So here is our dock. It says Nintendo Switch on the front. Isn't it nice? Look at that, beautiful. So our Switch, I assume, is just gonna slide in there. Take a look. I don't know where the power goes after you plug it in. Probably right on the side. Let's find out. Okay, so slide it into the dock. Oh, thanks, Eric. Other way. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Um, what about the power cord? Oh, here we go. On the back, it opens up. So we've got the AC adapter plug there. There's an extra USB port here, and the HDMI port is there too. So, and if you'll see here, you can actually put that in and close it up. So it's got a little place for the cables. So let's go ahead and slide the HDMI cable in. Uh, oh, right, we've got one. I knew that. 
boy, the angle is not spectacular there. There we go. Okay. So. There it is. So, picked up my Joy-Con. It feels interesting in my hands. Like, again, it is, it's heavier than I feel like it looks like it would be. Um, but remember, this thing is not powered. This is actually just something that they slide onto. They sell a powered one that you'll be able to plug in and charge from there, but otherwise, they charge down here. So we've just fired it up for the first time. I'm speaking English. I'm in the Americas. Uh, you know what? You're not really supposed to. Like, you're supposed to read all the different things. We're just gonna skip ahead here. Didn't I just say that we are good? da 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 uh, uh, okay. Change language. No, we're good. Back. We're good. What did I do wrong? Oh, I viewed it. <laughs> Cause I'm an idiot. Duh. Okay. So we accepted it. Oh man. Now we're getting into all the technicalities. Okay. So connecting to the network wirelessly. I know that, uh, I saw where somebody is going to be selling a wired connection if you wanted to buy one of those, but uh, default is wireless. And I'm somewhere on the East Coast. Here we go. We'll take New, New York City. Set your icon and nickname. Oh, man. Who do I want to be my icon? What game you I'm going to play Zelda, so we're just going to go with Link. Hi, Link. How are you, man? Enter a nickname for this user. Just go with my standard nickname, which some of you may or may not know is Obi-Wan. So we'll put that in. There I am. Look at how awesome I am with my bow and arrow. So it looks like we can add some additional users, but we're not going to do that right now because it's just me. I don't need parental controls because I'm my own person. All right, so setup's complete. Press the home button. And we're on our way to seeing what the main menu looks like. Insert a game card or download software from Nintendo's eShop. Well, ha ha! I have got the brand new Legend of Zelda game sent to us by Nintendo, which, by the way, they also sent us the Switch. And this knife, courtesy of Eric, which I'm now going to try not to cut myself open and make it a lot easier to get into. Okay. So the size, relative size of the case is about what you would get with a uh, PSP game or like a PS Vita game, about that size. Whoa, but let's take a look at how small the actual game is. This thing is tiny. Look at that. Ugh. Don't sneeze. You might miss this thing. So, okay, the place where you can put the games is actually right on top of the console. So I really hope I'm putting it in the right way, and I'm not. Just like the HDMI cable, I'm not very good at this. All right, so you actually wanna put it with the face sticking out. And let's see what happens. Oh look, it's the Legend of Zelda, everyone's favorite. So, yes, me, select a user, and now we're on our way to Zelda. Loading screen, and we're waiting. How you doing? Good. Me too. Nintendo presents. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda. It's a little understated to get things started. It's cool. Breath of, okay. Oh yeah, and this is showing on a Samsung 6200 model 4K TV. And I will tell you, in reality, we've kind of reached the point at which I can't actually show you anything else. Wait, nope, I can't, I can't even show you the opening cinematic. Stop everything. In fact, here's a great way to stop it. Watch this. <gasps> I just pulled it out and the game is, actually the screen is blank. Like, I assume that it's supposed to switch right back to it. Oh no, that's actually, that's right. The game is white right now in those opening moments. I can't show you anything else because I'm not supposed to, but does anybody else want to know? Like if I just slide it back on, does it suddenly kick back on? Boom! Can't show you anything else, that's it. That's all you get, but that 
was awesome. So we're actually gonna be doing some more coverage coming up on the riot. So you wanna make sure that you check out Riot Control. It'll be in our podcast every day. And of course you can hear us every morning at riot.radiou.com.